Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. More work to do, just as usual. We got more parts to throw on the Humvee here. Uh, let's get cracking. Let's go straight to work. Saw in the last video, got the hood on, got the windshield on. Two huge, I guess, body part components that need to be put on this thing, and I needed some help to do it. So again, big thanks to those guys who helped me out. So let's go. Let's go to work, guys. Got a lot of work to do. It's turn signal time. These things are gorgeous. I'm telling you. Look how good those look. And these are also the buckets with the, the black bucket. I like them a whole lot better than the OD green ones. Let's throw it on. Well, we just had kind of like uh, some tornadoes last night. They just came through the area. Not here, though. However, I've got to do this today. The It's actually going to be sunny here in a little bit, but the Jeep has a major tick, and it's so common on these 3.6 liters. Like, I don't know, Chrysler 200s, Rubicons, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees. They all got the same engine. It's 3.6 liters, and they're very prone to do this. So I bought some new lifters and rocker arms. We're going to put in there. They're, uh, I think, and I do believe it is coming from this side. It's very obvious. Let me get you. Let me get the key real quick. So this is a very time-consuming job. It's probably going to take me all day, maybe even into tomorrow to do to finish it. I'll probably get it done today. But I got to get it done. Jeep week is coming up, and can't be going in there sounding like this it's it's getting progressively worse over the past like month well here i'll let you listen to it big time tick right there i don't think it's coming from that side right there so yeah, now that the engine's calming down, tap, 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 tap. We'll see how much I can get done on this today. I don't know if I can get done anything. What I might, what I really want to do though, on the Humvee is go ahead and just get everything wired for the turn signals. Here is the hood harness right here. So I like to go ahead and get all of that stuff wired up and I'll, and then just get it plugged in right here. Same thing for the rear. It's time consuming, but I just want to get all this hooked up together right here and then get the, the block back there, which is right here. These little guys. So this goes on the back, kind of just holds everything together. It's going to go right here and kind of keep all the wires inside of it there. And I'll change these bolts out right here, put some new stainless on there and get that up. So I do want to get that done today. I might get it done in between some of that, or I can go ahead and do that right now because it is still raining. Weatherman says it's supposed to stop. Who knows?
This is such an expensive repair. If you took this to the dealership, this would probably cost you a couple grand to get done because I think the, I was reading somewhere, I don't know how accurate this is, but they said this was a 20 hour job is what the dealership will book it. That's crazy. And it definitely don't take no 20 hours. However, if I mean, if you do it the proper way, there is a shortcut, which you know, I'm gonna probably take the shortcut, but I, and I'm probably just gonna do this bank over here. I'm not gonna do that one. That one sounds fine. So, and I only ordered one bank. So, I don't think that it's gonna be that crazy. I don't see 20 hours, but I do believe it is a two day job. Like, yeah, I think if you took it to a dealer, I think they would have it for two days, for sure. Just went ahead and scrubbed the old K&N. It was pretty dirty. Nice and clean now. Re-oil it when we put it back in. Well, it's still raining out there. So I decided to come down here and hook up some e-brake cables. And look guys, I cannot believe it, but it actually fits. It's still gonna fit, lifted. I'm gonna have to move this, it's gonna be tight right in here against the control arm, but I mean, it's where it exists. It, it mounts right here on this little pigtail coming off of this. And it just, you know, hooks up to that, goes around. I gotta put a C clamp on the back side of that and then run the bolt through. You know, right here for the pin. All right. Sorry, you guys can't really see any of this. This stuff is so dark under here and whatnot. Oh, well, here we go. So I'm gonna try the keeping the timing chain on method first without putting the top dead center. So for top dead center, you just make these arrows right here. They'll both face inward right here and point straight across each other. That'll be TDC. And then, but out here, I just went ahead and marked everything with a Sharpie to keep the camshafts in line. That way we can rotate the engine and then go ahead and lift the, you know, the rock arm and the push rods out one by one and just get those out of there and replace them hope i can you just i've seen a bunch of videos we'll see if it works youtube and myself this is what i do it's what we all do right so i'm just going to lift the back of the cam up a little bit so i can get some space under there and then uh replace them and once i get them all out i'll know which one's the culprit we'll see which one's the actual bad one out of the bunch take your bets so here is the kit new intake gasket and each one of these got a push rod and a rock arm. Yep. Let's find out which one. All right, I got this whole side all done. You can see the nice shiny push rods. Put some engine lube on those. I just pulled the caps off this side. And let's go ahead and do those and wrap this thing, put it all back together. Wrap it up. I am done. Everything is snug. Nothing's torqued yet. Check that out, all my marks lined back up. Everything's good. All the push rods and rock arms are brand new on that side. I should take care of it. So check out what I found over here. Let's see if we can get a good side right there. Hey, it's clean in there. 
So I found two. There shouldn't be any movement in these. Uh, if you guys can see that. This thing's all over the place. Side to side, front to back, trashed. Same thing with this one. Exact same way. All the rest are, here, let me pick out any one of these. These things are solid. They roll good, solid, whatever. So two of them are bad on this side. Hopefully that's it for the engine. I hope I don't have to do the other side, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. Got nothing else to do now, but torque everything back down the spec, throw the whole Jeep back together, and then that'll be done. All right, it took me a couple hours. I think by the time I get it all back together, it'll be three, three and a half hours, something like that. And maybe we can jump on this big guy today. I don't know. Like that is, uh, it hurts the back. I'm on this uh, step stool right here, but you're leaning over the whole time. Whew, back is screaming. All right, let's see if this thing runs. Okay, this right here, guys, is the flasher for, you do need this one if you have LED turn signals. The old one, I've had a few, but if it's, I don't know, I guess if you're Humvees, I don't know what year they actually switched it from maybe 2000 and up. These will be still good for the LED use, but if you got an old M998, you're not gonna be able to use it. You're gonna have to switch it out for a new flasher. So again, if you got an old N998, you'll probably need one of these flashers right there. That'll help the lights. When you put LEDs in, they'll, they'll blink correctly. Otherwise, they just stay on. They just come on and stay on. All right, moving on. I am so sore from that Jeep yesterday. That thing broke me just from having to lean over it the whole time, standing on the bumper, fixing a vehicle, doing engine work, standing on a bumper. Well. Oh, well. Flasher. So I got everything wired back in here other than this one. This goes to the IR light. Went in, put some juice in there. It goes to this one right here. I just don't have this rubber garment, and I'm going to go buy one of those before I hook it up. I mean, I guess I can always take it back out, but I don't want to mess with this. It is a pain working inside this little box. I ended up having a, there was a the ground to the IR or from the harness. It was all jacked up. I don't know. I had to redo it. Got all these bolted up in here, all the way down. It looks really, really good. Then the only thing left to do would be to plug that in. Then if you remember, it's bent. Yep, see that? I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit before it gets back in there. Anyway, that was actually extremely time consuming in there, putting that hood harness on there, but 
whatever, be easy. I'm gonna go hit Lowe's and get a rubber garment. Yo, Jimmy, putting in my two and a half inch bolts. Get rid of these super long ones. Cut them, unreal. Cut them. Split bills thing to say, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, these look way better. I think everybody would agree. All right, I don't know what's wrong with my editing software. So, next video, right now.